Yeah, hey, dear. I just saw you, you called. Um, I'm just giving you a call back. What's up? Yeah, I'm busy. What the hell? Do you think I'm just sitting on my ass? You're asking me how to change the light in the bathroom. No, I can't do it right now. I got freaking shit to do. Well, <clears throat> it's pretty easy. The first thing you do is fill the tub with water. Hey everybody, this is Jeff with Area 52 Pro Diesel Repair. Here's an issue that you might run into. Um, this happens to be a 2002 F350. Um, and you might realize right quick um, that the uh, 2002s, they move the fuse box. They do not have any fuses out here anymore. They, you know, from in this vintage of the 7.3s in this body style, 99 up to 2001, had the fuse box right in here along with all the relays. Um, but they moved it, everything uh, inside of here, underneath the kick panel. Um, but it's not like the 99s where it has a separate fuse um, for each side of what's going on with this is the uh, brake lights and turn signals everything on the pickup work but on the uh, trailer they don't and so and there I didn't find anything yet as far as any fuses that uh, you know because I, I know in the 99s there was a tent there were two 10 amp fuses in that fuse box out in the by the firewall and one would be for your left side and one would be for your right side but I don't I don't see that in here not in, you know not in the owner's manual um, so first thing to do obviously is check your power there the next thing is, is you move up here follow the wiring harness I checked I had no power in here and now one thing on this pickup this isn't my problem but don't do stuff like this this is this is even even less of a job that a shade tree mechanic would do what they did is this wire harness goes into a uh, another uh, trailer plug that's up in the bed and all they did was they tapped onto here best thing to do is if you're gonna gonna do that do it behind this plug do it from out here and then run your wires up inside there that way you don't mess with anything of this stuff that's factory all the way back here this doesn't happen to be the problem in this pickup um, here's the two wires um, right here for uh, your left and right turn signal plus your brake lights and um, this side's going up to the front of the pickup these are going up to the plug there and these run all the way back through this plug and out into for this for the plug here for a uh, bumper pull <clears throat> there's the one in the bed old style but there it is right underneath here by the uh, in the area of the transfer case um, you got this plug right here this is the other place where your harness breaks now those uh, that green wire right there and the yellow wire right behind it are for your trailer left and right turn. There's two other wires. I believe it's these two. Those go for your left and right turn um, on the pickup bed. Now this is the next place to check for power. This is going up to the pickup. This is going all the way back, back to there. So it's another place your harness breaks. I've got no power. I've got the two here in the middle. There's, well, actually, it's this one on the outside and one you know, right there's hard to point at. But that's for the uh, pickup truck turn signals. Um, like I said it corresponds with these. So it's uh, that pin and that pin are the ones that um, go for the trailer. Now, I've got no power here. So that means I need to go back up forward more 
to uh, figure out why losing losing not having any power to the trailer lights so in these 2002s um, these two relays right here are for your uh, trailer light relays here and on this pickup they both work both actuate and um, so we're getting power and everything to these and I'm just losing it in between these relays and out somewhere so got to figure out what's going on with that so we'll keep going now before I keep going on uh, this is for your uh, right turn signal and that's for your left turn signal as it relates in there so you got your right and your left so basically if you were standing behind it then that would be you know, but, you know standing in front of here you know one would first think oh left is right but no this is your right side and your left side you can pull both of these relays out and your lights still work on your pickup truck bed this has to do just with the trailer wiring that's what we're dealing with so just a pointer on that okay so let's have a look at the schematic here that's for the trailer wiring circuit so right here you have your trailer plug that has both the um, four, four pin and the seven pin right here so you have your your green and yellow one and four right there follow them all the way over to right here and this is those two relays that's these two relays right here I gotta get me a regular camera if you're getting phone calls and every time I'm trying to make a video. Um, so that every time this relay, so when you turn on your, your four ways or you turn on your turn signal, this relay just click, click, click. And that's, you know, this is the coil side of the relay. So that's the circuit, you know, you need to check and make sure that that's working. On this pickup, that circuit is working and the relays are clicking. Now just because they're clicking doesn't mean they're working because this can physically you know click and close but it may not make contact right in here but what my problem is is I had on this terminal coming in the back of the relay that's this uh, alright so this you know I see you got one for each relay here dark dark green and orange it says on the schematic this has got one wire and then it bridges out to two, one for each relay. That's hot all the time. So that when the relay actuates, then it sends that hot power, power to either your left side or your right side for your turn signals. Or both at the same time for your brake lights. And that is, is powered up from fuse number six, which is on this side, it's your sixth one down, so uh, I believe it's that one yeah that one right there right above the 30 amp so when I had the issue I you know I first checked this fuse I had power on one side I had power on the other side so that means I had power to the fuse and through the fuse but where I didn't have power where I didn't have power was this this wire coming in here and this is supposed to be hot all the time from that fuse and I didn't have any power there as you can see here's that wire right here coming out of the back of the distribution panel so that wire was broken somewhere between this distribution panel and this point right here used to run down with these wires right here used to run in here like this now normally when I fix wiring and stuff like that I like to actually find the actual problem but with this loom here going clear back in there and down there 
that was going to be way too time consuming to um, do that. So I ran a new wire along with these wires, you know, through that little rubber grommet right there. And um, so, like I said, the four ways are on right now. See the clicking sound, which you should hear. Both these relays are clicking back and forth. And we have trailer lights. Got a left turn and a right turn. Brakes, brake lights, I mean. Four ways are on right now. So, like I said, your um, pickup may not have my problem, but hopefully with this video you can um, see how the circuit goes to make this, uh, you know, this system work. Um, you know, so now if you don't have any relays clicking or if you have one side clicking, you know, you're going to have to start chasing, you know, obviously on this side, you know, you got a, um, that's an orange and a light blue wire. You know, all of these come out of the same, same area going the same plug. Um, if I can find, I wish I had another page, um, for the schematic, you know, to, to trace where those go to figure out if you're losing power to those or not. Um. I believe there's actually an, another fuse for these relays themselves. Yeah, I can't find where that circuit uh, comes from. If um, if that is your problem, um, get a hold of me and I can help you out with finding a schematic page. But um, anyways, this particular circuit, first thing you want to do, you know, obviously is, is uh, check your fuse. That was at number six, 20 amp. Make sure it's got you know, power to it on one side, and then, and then you come out here and you want to check and see if you got power at these two. Um, let me get a little pointer here. You want to check and make sure you got, um, you know, power here and power here, right here. This three, both of these terminal number three. And that should correspond on the relay. It should say three <clears throat> on that particular terminal. One and two is your coil, um, and five and three is basically you know considered your your normally open set of contacts. There's one more contact, which would be running right here, but that would be considered a normally closed. Wouldn't wouldn't use that. So anyways, you want to have power on here all the time. If you do. And you want to make sure that these relays are actuating. So you want to have, um, with a test meter or test light, um, you know, you want to pull the pull the meter, and when you actuate the, uh, when you turn on the, um, actually, be, you know, one thing you could do is just uh, hold the brake pedal down, see if you've got constant power on one, and constant power on one on this side, and if you do, then you want to go and check this ground make sure that it's grounded and then you know if your, if your relays are clicking you do want to make sure that you're getting power you know out this number five right here on both sides whichever sides uh, going um, if I remember right is yellow left turn I believe so um, so anyways that's that's how this circuit works um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of help and in, in uh you know like i said i'm just in, i already you know traced out everything um going back to the plug you know because obviously when i start with these problems you know i start here at the plug on the back of the trailer if i don't have what i need then i you know sometimes some people will, will start here and i'll just work all the way back that's okay there's nothing wrong with that um, I like to start here, then then to the fuse, and then to the relays. And then if I don't have what I need there, see when I notice that I didn't have, um, you know, any power, you know, coming out of here, you know, I quickly move back to the connector that's right about in this area, and um, and that actually might not exactly show but you're gonna have a few connectors in here about two or three if I recall all the way back to this you know 
good places to break it break it apart and check see where you, you're losing what you have but essentially that's how the circuit works um these relays are actuated you know when you uh do your left turn yeah here's left turn right here so yellow is left turn so when you turn on your left turn signal it actuates this relay this relay right here is going to be on because you know if you're slowing down to turn this will be on for a brake light this this one will be signaling for the turn so that's pretty much exactly how these things work and they're all run off the same uh 20 amp fuse like i said between you know this point out of the power distribution box and where um those two wires came together right before the relay my wire was broken in here somewhere and you know it was going to be a bear to find so i just ran a new wire from this point to that point and i don't like to do that i like to keep everything uh as factory as possible um you know because it even could be me that's the next guy working on it and i won't remember what i did but this, at least uh i didn't have the, the right color of wire but at least it's the only wire on the circuit. All I did was just eliminate this wire and run a new wire there. So at least I didn't, you know, <clears throat> tap off some other circuit or something like that. You know, which is all stuff that can be done if it's your own vehicle. That's your, you know, your choice. But I'm working on other people's vehicles. So I can't, uh, you know, always be doing that. And I want to try to save it for the next guy working on it. Because that next guy might be me. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit. You know. If you have any questions or whatever, um, you can always email me, call me or whatever. It's always best to call me on my phone to actually talk, you know, to talk through problems. It's a lot easier than writing back and forth. I could point you and steer you in the right direction, save you some time. So, anyways, thanks for watching.